Welcome back to episode 3 of the farm vlog series. This is the same day as that video, it's about literally about one minute after. I've just walked around to where some of the machinery is sitting. So here is one of the machines we have. It's the John Deere 6150R. As you can see there, she's about 150 horsepower standard and then she boosts to around 170, 180. She's open up. Come inside her. I'm just gonna look at the phone a little bit so I can see what I'm looking at. We don't keep the keys in the tractors at all or under the seats or anything. But you see here she's direct drive transmission. There that's not auto, that's automatic mode in the minute. On the left, then you can push her into the right, and she's sort of a semi-automatic then. Push forward. You see you push forward for to uh, increase the gears or uh, go up a gear and then you minus to go back a gear. That's sort of good for drawing silage and in the field with a harvester because then you can you can sort of increase your speed or decrease your speed depending on where you are and where you have to sit. Find the land really. And the auto is good for road work. I find it good for drawing the maize meal. And for the digester, it's very handy in the road. And she has four electric spools. As you can see there, that's that's them all in I think that's they're out, out of position now. That's them all in float at the minute. They're not sitting anything. That's them all. That's them all out of float. And that's pumping. That's pumping and that's releasing. Sort of pulling back and pu pulling back, pushing forward. And then you push them down, push down, and in for float. That's your arms there on this little lever here, the black one. So if you if you sore on, that's your arms as well. That is there's your throttle then you've got the clock for that on the dash here well, the one on the left that clock on the left the clock on the right your speed PTO here then you've got your little John Deere screen for navigation over here you've got all the lights you've got you've got your four-wheel drive you've got your four-wheel drive and these two buttons you've got your beacons that's your audio and the increase and decrease you've got settings for the screen this is for your your navigation, you've got the labels for your field names. Really, there's your arms. That's to push out the hitch and stuff. Well, another button to push out the hitch. Then you've got the big hydraulic lever to drop the entire linkage at the back. And then you pump it out with the spools or on these little buttons. So, tractor is pretty simple. You've got, let's get the phone out. See, you've got the clutch here. You'll need the clutch, you only need the clutch for taking off here with this little button. I'll just I'll take the steering column down. So here you've got so here's I don't know if you can see there. Uh well there's park at the minute, then you put the clutch in, that's forward, neutral, reverse. You need you only need the clutch taken off, take that out and then the tractor moves. When you're when you're moving, then you set the brake, she'll stop. Pretty soft brake, and then you've got the accelerator on the far right, you've got the brake, and then the clutch. So You've got your passenger seat there as well. You've got your radio up there. Black window. This that's basically it for this tractor. She's a 2014 model. 2013 model. She's done around. I had the key last was in her. She's done around four maybe. I think she's done around three and a half, four thousand hours. She's done a good bit. With the keen eyes you saw there is a 6215R beside her. You see there from Agripar Roma and she she is she got all the bells and whistles. You see there she's got the big chrome exhaust on her, fortunately. Doesn't make her sound any better. Still she's ad blue death, whatever you call it. She is tw uh, 2018 model. She's got the front PTO, front linkage arms there. What is she on? You see there she or the tires. I see the back one better. I think she's on 700s, maybe? 710s. 710s by 60s by 42s in the back. And if the camera goes upside down here, or she is on, actually, no, she's on 600s by 60s and then by a radius of 30. It's air brakes. And there is the pickup hitch down there. As you can see, I've got the phone out. And there's to lower and lower and increase the height of your linkage and to push the hitch in and out. 
you've got two back working lights and you've got the uh, lights up top full led lights in this tractor she used to have beacons but had a, she's on demo at the minute just to clarify uh the first time she used two, be two beacons like that like the 6150r which sit up there and she's got work lights see if she's open and she is as you can see this tractor has four steps in the 150r as you can see has three because it's on a taller wheelbase Ugh, it's an awful claim so this tractor i pull the column down this tractor in comparison to the 6150r she is auto power so at the minute she's sitting in i'm not too sure about this gearbox but This, this here, that's your fast, that's your two, that's the fastest road speed, that's one. As you can see, there's one, two and one, and then snail, that's probably your slowest road speed. Again, she has, she has the three electric spools. She has the, the joystick. I'm not too sure what this is for, it could be for a loader. I think it's a front loader. Then she's got the big display with all the buttons on here instead of on the side. Everything's really on the console on this track, you see. There's your music, your beacon lights, your PTO. Your hitch, your height, there's your throttle there, and as you can see now, there's even there's an eco mode there on the far right and there and I think and then here is the console for the tanker. So you can see there is the rain gun, the arm to go down, the arm to open the valve inside the tanker, the boom to go up and the boom to go down. That's the turn they pump on. Here's the hydraulic lever for the three point here, same position as the last tractor. This tractor now, it's no clutching at all, I'm pretty sure. I think you need the clutch, well I think it's the same setup as the 150R. You need the clutch to go in to turn, to go into forwards, into forwards. There's neutral and there's back. There's park there. Uh, brake. Actually, you know, you don't need the clutch to take off actually. You don't need the clutch to take off, just hit the brake, let off the brake, you'll go, hit the accelerator. There's your working lights there. There's your indicators, right and left. You've got your window wipers, speeds one, two, and three. And you've got sockets, so they're open. There's some sockets for plug in electrical or anything like that. no screens. And we've got the tanker, electrics plugged in to that big one up here. Radio is the same place up here. This tractor's got a sunroof. Not too sure how to open that. Actually, there you go. That's how you open it there, this big handle and you pull her up and it sits open like that and you close it down like that so now your little mirror there full surround sound speakers in each corner uh, what else? I think you've got a little cubby here in the seat belt uh, what else? this tractor is 60k well 55 around 50-55 she might go 60 you've got a cup holder in the corner what else? I think that's everything, you your body seat, passenger seat and I'm not too sure what a big lever is down here anyone tell me what it is, what's that, looks like a linkage arms on or something well um, that's not a handbrake anyway because your handbrake if you can see there's your part piece of machinery we've got the JCB 532120 construction site telehandler We'll not go into her because you have to, the key's missing from the cab. Well, I don't have it on me at the minute. She's the construction one. She's got the legs there to come down for support. And she's the, she's a 12 meter reach on her. And a 3.2 ton lift. She's got the cage in the front. Uh, she's got blue rims. I don't know why. Because we used to, we're in the building industry, we used her for that. She came with those. Got her second hand. That's really all for the 532. So in the shed, we've got the JCB 54170 Agri Pro, as you saw in the first draining video. She's the 4.1 ton, 4 ton lift and the 7 meter reach. She's the hydrostatic vario transmission, full LED lights, hitch in the back. She's got the large. We put larger tires on her. See, she's on 650s. They're definitely a lot larger. I think the last ones were 540s, maybe. I think. Full back work lights there. You've got your exhaust. She's odd blue for the emissions. And we'll, so we'll jump into the cab and 
I'll show you a bit about her. Probably the easiest thing we have to drive on the farm. So we'll jump in. So, right. In with, you've got the accelerator down here. I'll, I'll put the phone. Put the phone in the mount. So you've got the accelerator down here. Got the brake. Actually, you know I'll actually hold the phone. See what I'm doing. You've got the brake. Then over here, you've got the toggle. Forward, neutral, reverse. Down, you've got the handbrake. Should be home. <laughs> you've got the boom. You've got the boom out. And this is to lock your hydraulics here. The pins. See that pin on the front of the boom there? That's up, that's down, that's change gear up, change gear down. That's crowd, that's crowd in, that's crowd out, up, down. And if you hold this button, that just shakes the bucket. Then you move down here. This is for, this switch here is for beat, like if you're chopping beat. That's for the hydraulics. That's to change the hydraulic flow. That's to lock on, just lock your boom, doesn't move. I think that's something to do with the joystick, not sure. This is your hitch, that's a safety feature, just a stop stroke machine. Down here you've got the one back window wipe roof, no. That's the roof one that's the roof window wipers, that's the back window wipers. You've got wheel options. And you've got the changeover. The hydraulics, you just hit that. She so changes different and change the, the flow of oil, different positions, that's the fan, reversing fan. You've got the aircon down here, that's the increase, decrease, turn on the colder air. Up here you've got an Alpine radio. It's got the USB-C and aux inputs. You've got eco power here, so save fuel. Not too sure what those are for. Probably do, I think that's, that's boom suspension. That one's for. Over here you've got the working lights, beacon lights, top roof lights. Then you've got the steering options, that's four four wheel steer, that's just front two wheel steer, that's crab steer. Then you've got your hazard lights. So that's basically everything in here. Basically drive this, put, you put it into forward or you use the switch on the bottom of the joystick. Put a foot in, put this into forward, put your foot in the accelerator she goes, brake she stops, simple as that. So now we'll move Inside the sore we have the John Deere 8400 forage harvester. I'm not going to go into the cab because I literally know nothing. I literally know the stick is for pushing the harvester forward and pushing it back because all I do is draw silage. I have never driven her. I hope to drive her next year for grass and I learn to drive her anyway. She's on 900s. Oh actually, eight, not 800s actually. 800s by 70s by radius of 38. Big, big tires in this machine. And then she's on 620s by 70s by radius of 30 and she is a 2017 model. She replaced our 6850. Ford Harvester had her for around seven, eight, seven, eight years. Attached to the back of our New Holland 6080. Uh, this is the tractor you would have seen in my previous video with drawing the silage. She is a 2008, 2009 model. She's done around 4,800 4, between that and 5,000 hours. And we'll jump into her and I'll show you a bit more. I can actually probably show you. I had the keys on me anyway for from earlier. There you can see the hours there. There is. Oh, let's run that radio down. And well, there's four thousand. 4,800 hours, excuse, excuse that little bit of country music, well there's 4,801 hours on her. <coughs> now this tractor is, she's power command. If you got your increasing gears, decreasing gears. And that's your headland management or something, a button. That's your linkage, link linkage, that's your turtle mode, you go really slow. There's your hand throttle. Hand throttle there. And you've got your height, and you've got for a few got of that. But like the grass hour, for example, click this, set the height here, click that grass hour goes down. And over here we've got the spools. Set them. It's plugged into the blue. So this spool here, do the spool for tipping the trailer. That's why it's there. And you've got the green and the brown and the blue or the purple sort of. 
And here you've got your PTO, you make a PTO speed, you got your 540 economy and then your 1000 shaft up there. And you've got your down here we've got the down here we've got the four wheel drive. That's like automatic. That first one's like an automatic mode for gearbox. Uh, I'm not sure what the rest of them are for. And then you've got a plug and inlet for a screen. You got your big hydraulic lever to lower the three point. And then over here you've got your shuttle, I'll bring out the steering column. You've got the hazard lights in there, and then you've got so this tractor to drive it, it's really clutch in in a forward, let the clutch out slowly, she'll creep forward. Same for same for reverse, that's new that's forward, neutral reverse. Uh, you've got your indicators, right and left, window wipers. So really to increase the speed of this tractor and driving along, hit this button, 19 gears, just flick up through each one, G 50k. Decrease, you press that one. That's really it. Then down here you've got the let me see you get a better view. Down here you've got the lift that seat up. Now down here you've got the handbrake. Normal handbrake. Down. There you go. Down and up. You hear that? It's all at the minute. And that's really everything. She's got two speakers at the back. Yeah, up here you've got your beacons front lights, all your cab lights, back cab lights, and your front lights. Uh, you've got your radio, got your USB stick for music, got your parrot, and you got your little freeze black eyes air freshener, need one of them, uh, part for the phone, sunroof, like this now, push both up, same for the black, uh, what way is it, like that, push her up, you can push her up to the back the way it is now. That's it down, you've got cover, and you've got this little windshield there if it's sunny and I've got the GoPro mount from that video up here. So, phone holder as well there. Two doors in this tractor, some of the KSP was only had one. Two doors, put the steering column up. Now that is all, I think that's, that's all of our sale equipment and tractors. We have the two tractors, the 6150R John Deere and the 60 New Holland. I've got the 6215R in demo at the minute. And the only piece of equipment I haven't done is the case digger. I think it's a 130C or D, 130D. And it, you would have saw it in the draining video. So I'll make sure to do a tour of it and how to drive it next time. So that is it for episode three of the Farm Vlog series. Uh, put in the comments what you'd like to see next. Um, I'll probably do, I have to wash the JCB, so I might time lapse that and put it into episode 3. So, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you back for episode 4.